<laughs> my niggas. <laughs> oh, yeah. I ain't got no dick. <laughs> Hell no. So that's the only thing I don't got is kids. Nah, I'm gonna pull out King. Fuck that. Welcome to Media House of the Yo, yo, this your boy Shooter Trap, man. We back live and direct with another interview, man. You one of the uh, more, most sold out the uh, directors out here in the state of Kelly. Oh, man. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! And how long you been into the uh, to the game to the to the video game? Uh, I've been shooting music videos since 2007 officially. Yeah, and what got you into the to the camera game? How did you first pick up a camera and say I'm gonna shoot start shooting music videos? Uh, to be honest, it was a mistake. To be real, like I went to I was in school. My bad. I was in school for um filmmaking. And during the process of learning how to do filmmaking and the process and all that type of stuff, an uh, artist from my hometown hit me up and was like, shit, if you can shoot movies, you can shoot music videos. And I ain't never think about music videos at all. So, you know, we jumped out there, did it. Everybody liked it. And like immediately after, like everybody started hitting me up. So, yeah. And what was one of the, the first cameras you started out with? You know, most people started out with the Canon T series. Now, the first camera I ever bought was a Canon T2i, and I wish I still had it, because that was a good camera. But I think the first camera I was using was a GL2. I don't know if it was Canon or whatever. I think it was a Canon GL2, something like that, or a Sony F something, some old camcorder. Yeah. Videos was trash, <laughs> yeah. but for the time, they was hot. They was so, hot. Then yeah. You see the progression from 2007. Yeah. Now. Like yeah. I said, you one of the most sort of the uh, North Carolina directors out here. Like, how do you stay on top of your videos and stuff, man, to, to stay from, you know, getting backed up? Uh, oh, I still get backed up. I'm backed yeah. up right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the main thing, the main way I try to stand out is with my lighting. And that's what I get complimented on the most with. Uh, even artists hit me up like, bro, your lighting be bye bye. And it's like, I don't do nothing special, but I know how to go into a scene and be like, all right, let me put this here, let me put this here. And I'm like, at this point, I only buy lights. I don't buy lenses, I don't buy different cameras. Like all I buy is lights. Okay. So like, I probably invested in lighting alone, probably like close to $10,000. Like for real, for real. I don't bring them all with me all the time, but yeah. I think I got like five main lights I bring with me, and shoot, that's about it. Oh yeah, you definitely one of the, you know the top one of the top lighters I, I, I've seen. And and where did that come from? Just off of experience, did you learn uh, from YouTube? How, how do you? Learn oh yeah, how, like, how I tell everybody to go to YouTube. They they think I be being an asshole or whatever. Can we curse? No, yeah, uh, I, yeah. I, I I got a dirty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I got a filthy mouth. But um, I've learned over time uh, watching movies and like I hate movies where I can see where everything is. What I'm trying to get more into now is uh, using practicals, the light instead of like having a fucking spot on somebody. Mm -hmm. So where you, where you can see where the light coming from. So I'm trying to get more into that. But yeah, YouTube, movies, all that type of stuff. And I tell other people the same thing, but they'd be thinking I'd be being funny, so. Yeah, so for uh, somebody that's watching this that, that they, they sets is not properly lit up. What's a good light to, to start out with? Uh, start first of all, you trash. Uh, second, <laughs> uh, second, uh, I would say, and a lot of people might disagree, but I would say start with the Godox SL60s because they're cheap. Um, you could get a bunch of them. I know most people that even the people that shoot on the low end, you can afford to get at least two or three of those. They're only like $120. They might even be $100. Now, a lot of people go the route of using panel lights and stuff like that. That's fine, but I've, I like over time, I just kind of stopped liking panel lights. Even though I still have some of my kit, I rarely use them. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, back on the, the, the uh, thing about being backed up on the videos, though, like yeah. you, you say, like, how do you handle that when artists hit you up? Like, how's that video going? Oh, uh, how, do you, how, how do you handle that? Oh, that's man. You want a real answer? Yeah, that's one of my biggest things <laughs> when it comes to this video thing. So uh, how do you handle that? Because I know you get those text messages, how the video goes. Man, I either don't respond or I refer them to my website. On my website, it has a section where it says if you need your video back at, like in a, in a faster amount of time, to pay an extra fee. And if you don't pay that fee, I ain't trying to hear nothing you talking about. Now, 
I know that I have the knack of saying, yo, I got you Tuesday, then Tuesday comes. It's like, yo, where is that? I'm like, man, I'm in fucking Virginia somewhere. So, you know, if I ain't at the crib or if I ain't got one of my people to work on it, which usually if I get too backed up, I'll get one of my people to work on all the stuff I'm backed up on. They'll chop it up. I'll finish it up, send it out. So, I mean, I'm at the point, I'm at the level now where people will wait. So... I don't really have that much of a problem with it because they know they're getting a good visual. They shot with Illy Rock on the fucking best, yeah. all that type of stuff. Yeah. Even though No Ratchets is number one, but yeah. you know. Yeah. So you feel like you the number two? No Ratchets one, you two? I mean, as far as as far as trap videos, No Ratchets is definitely number one. I would say I'm number two based on I'm number one based on quality. But I take number two because like I rock with no ratchets and how he do all his stuff because I'm not doing half of that stuff he be doing. All them effects and all that stuff, I'm like, hell no, nah, don't come to me for that. <laughs> he can have that number one spot. Yeah, it's a, that's an extra fee right there. Whole, oh, like, shoot. Whole extra I'm going to find a whole extra person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a whole other person to do it. I ain't going to do it. So, yeah, yeah I, I let no ratchets have that number Not Not let because, I mean, he, he earned it. Yeah. But he definitely got that number one spot, but I'll take number two. Anything, I mean, tell Technically, I'm number four on Fuchsia's list, which I disagreed with, but I took it. You yeah. know, it's all good. Yeah. It's all love. Yeah, it's all love, man. You know, at least to get recognized anyway. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, you know, uh, you from the 252, man. So let, let's get in some of the artists out there. There's, you know, y'all got a lot of artists that's bubbling up, but uh, RIP to uh, sneak, sneak the pipe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's talk about Sneak a little bit, though, man, and uh, what was y'all working relationship like? Um, believe it or not, me and Sneak had just started back working together, like, right before he passed. Like, me and Sneak always had this on and off relationship because Sneak got a mouth on him. Mm -hmm. And, like, I say stuff, too, so, but I've known Sneak since he was, like, 15. So I always told him, like, you know, speak your mind, don't hold nothing back, whatever. So we would always bump heads. But I saw I shot Sneak first video. I remember him hitting me up on, I was about to say MySpace. He hit me on, <laughs> hit me on Facebook. And uh, I don't even know what I charged him at the time, but he had a group at the time. But later on, he ended up going independent. And, you know, everybody worked their thing out, like, outside of music. But, yeah, Sneak was doing his thing. He, uh, he eventually started working with... Um, no Ratchets and Vision 20. I like the stuff he was doing with Vision 20. Um, I actually did behind the scenes for one of his joints. I don't know if the video ever came out or not, but like just seeing his progression from when I first met him to then, I was like, Sneak, you got it, bro. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. But, you know, fast forward, years passed. Uh, he started elevating within the industry, not even just local, just he, he started rocking with Tusi and his manager and all that. So he was on his way. So he we had a conversation. I want to say the top of, it might have been the end of October, was it? Yeah, it probably was the end of October. Him and Big Time had a project they was working on, and um, we shot some videos, and Sneak was like, I'm trying to work back with you, bro. So we started back working, and then, like, literally, literally that same weekend, I think it was Thanksgiving. That was a crazy weekend, too. Yeah. It was a crazy weekend. Literally that Sunday that happened so i was like damn i only got to shoot with bro a few times and then now i will say that i would rather it be something outside of what it was looking like it was gonna be because sneak had a lot of enemies out here in the streets and all that type of stuff typical typical rapper story yeah typical yeah. like um i don't want to speak too much on it but we had a video shoot the day before that happened and like that video, that shit was crazy. That's why I was like, it was a wild weekend. And like, he was almost gone that night, but luckily, you know, nothing came out of it. But just for that to happen, I'm like, I, I would rather it be not somebody, you know, that was after him type thing, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what about, uh, you know, some of the t other 252 artists like uh, Glock Boy? I see y'all got a few videos together. Yeah. Um, uh, Me and Jeffy Glock. Jizzle. Uh, Y'all got a lot of videos together. Yeah, so I'm mad. I'm mad at Hefe right now. Yeah, yeah. Hefe <laughs> <Y 'all laughs> <be> <laughs> just called me too while I was in the uh, car. I'm, I'm mad at Hefe right now, man. He keep rescheduling the videos. But Hefe got like a hundred other things going on, so it's understandable. Yeah. Um, Glock Boy, me and Glock don't have a video that that I'm super super happy with yet, except for that uh that intro joint. I think it was the intro funeral, whatever it was. That shit was hard. But man, the stuff I want to do with Glock, 
I don't think we at that place yet because he liked working with no ratchets, which is, of yeah. course, you know, they built a relationship. So he, he, I like how he turned up in the joints with no ratchets. So me and Glock got to figure out how to work together. On um, the people I really like in the 252, like my literally my favorite artist is Boss Mills. Okay. Boss Mills, uh, to me, got everything it take to make it. He just got to stay out here and stop getting in fucking trouble. Um, big time. And I, I grew up with Big Time, me and Big Time from the same city. Well, I mean, technically, kind of. But uh, we from the same city. I watched him grow up just like I watched Sneak grow up. Him and Sneak was real close, too. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much it, other than Fats. But I don't consider Fats an artist because like, I know Fats, too. Like, me, Fats, Big Time, all us grew up together. Um, so did Pete Rothstein, all us from the same circle. Yeah. So, like, I don't be looking at them as artists all the time because we, like, homies, literally. Y'all like homies, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, you all around the state with it, man. Talk about uh, locking in and doing minutes with Issa and even uh, Sauce Pack, man. R.I.P. to him because he was Damn. He was going up. Yeah, mm -hmm. what's crazy is, like, a lot of people don't know, and I don't know if I should. Well, I, uh, well, I mean, it don't matter now. Mm -hmm. um, Sauce Pack had actually just got signed, like, right before he passed. So, like, that was that's what was crazy because I didn't even know. Um, some of his people told me and then Sud told me. Um, that he was already signed before that before that happened, and like I was, I was more upset of where we were because, and I'm not I'm not saying anyone's at fault for anything, but mm -hmm. I kept telling we was we um we were going back down there to finish up the video with him and Sauce Walker, uh -huh. and I was telling I was telling Sud that I didn't want to go back to Houston because like the way that Sauce Walker worked with us the first time though he showed hella love. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't really want to go through, you know, all the hoops we had to jump through to work with him. Right. So I was like, I want to, I want to hype about going back down there. Uh, so, you know, of course, we ended up going back down there after arguing about it for two, three months. And, you know, that happened. So I was like, man, I knew we shouldn't have came back down here. That, and that ain't had nothing to do with nothing. I mean, that could have happened anywhere. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, it's just tragic. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, the younger was definitely on his way. Yeah, he was out of here. Yeah, yeah. He and Sud yeah. definitely a, a great mentor. Like I, I only I started working with Sud off of um, showing up to the No Stress events. Okay. Cause like those the best events. And what's crazy is Stunner for Vegas performed that one one year, and I didn't know who he was. And um, he won't he won't doing nothing with the baby or nothing at the time because the baby performed that night too. I think they did Animal like. A little while after that, probably like the next, the following week or something. Right. Um. So yeah, Stunner was like a new artist. I ain't know who he was. I, I won't hype to like go meet him or nothing. But as soon as Animal hit, I was like, God damn it! I just saw this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, salute to Madly because I think Madly shot the video for that too. Yeah, so yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And how you feel about that though, man? Because the North Carolina music scene, like you say, you've been doing video since 2007. Yeah. So it's definitely elevated since then. Yeah. When nobody really was having like fan bases or really a real audience, it's done elevated since then, man. Yeah. So where it's expanded out of the state of North Carolina. Yeah. But yeah, what's, what's your feelings on that? And who do you feel like is like next up out of the state to like, you know, really take well, it to Well, as far as artists? Level? Yeah, artists to take it to that next level. See, I don't be knowing how to answer this because I know a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. And this is the same conversation I be having to have with people when they be like, Illy, you be so busy. And it's like, bro, I shoot with everybody, like literally, mm -hmm. even though that's changing soon. Um, if I can't even really put a finger on it because like Moray came out of nowhere. So like, I can't even really say who I feel like is up next. Like I said, I feel like Boss Mills got everything right now big time got everything right now um i just don't know what's keeping them from going to that next level like that's the that's the only thing that baffled me like sneak figured it out i don't know how i don't know how yeah. but sneak had to figure it out figured it out yeah sneak had to figure it out he was moving around he was he was flying here flying there meeting with this person meeting with that person like when i seen him on revolt with tusi and then he was in one of tusi videos i was like boy sneak got sneak got a plan yeah the power of networking man that yeah is super important yeah and a lot of people don't um a lot of people don't talk to each other and you know it's because a lot of them come from the streets so you know how all that nonsense go but sneak actually figured out how to break down certain barriers and get certain people to work together or even talk to each other that would have otherwise never spoke with each other like 
when I seen he had Glock Boy, Cash Addison, Big Time, and all them in the same uh, same house, I was like, boy, what the hell going on? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, this look like a dream team. <laughs> and he started working with Mills real tough, too. So, like, losing, really losing Sneak kind of hurt. And it sounds selfish, but losing Sneak really hurt the 252 music scene mm -hmm. because Sneak was out of here. And last person we had, of course, Petey Pablo, which Petey Pablo, of course, is the big homie, and I did do a video shoot with him, so salute to him. But 252 really hasn't had anybody. Glock Boy, I feel like it's the next one out of here. I'll say that. Because yeah. Glock, Glock got a lot of stuff going on. He got the views. He got the he got all of that going on. Yeah, so. he moving, networking. Yeah. Building up. I see him out here. Growing. When I went with Glock Boy to a show one time and everybody knew the words to like three of his songs, I was like, boy, what the hell What the hell are you doing? Like, yeah. like what's going on? A, I know that's a crazy thing to see. Like you said, you grew up with a lot of them. So yeah. So seeing this bill from nobody probably singing the words to like you said going to the show yeah it, it, it's a crazy feeling I yeah know, man. that was nuts because i i wouldn't think nobody know because a lot of people do showcases and all that and you know of course most of the time it's like nobody know the songs glock boy is actually very popular and i don't be realizing that a lot of the times until like i said i went to that show and i'm like these people like it was i yeah. seen the dude funniest thing i told glock boy this too mm -hmm. It was this girl in the VIP next to where I was filming it. She was singing the hell out of that damn song. And her, she was filming it, and her boyfriend was beside her. He done snatched the phone like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he snatched the phone like, bitch, you don't know this nigga. Yeah. I, said, <laughs> I said, oh, shit. I told Glock later, he was like, man, fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Glock, Glock got it, man. Yeah. Glock got it. Yeah, that, yeah, that's dope, though, man. Yeah. But, um, what do you see yourself taking your your brand as a whole? Um, is, is it like oh. more focused on music videos? You want to get boy, I'm out of here. Yeah, you want to get on the film tip? Uh, yeah. I, what, what, what 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 do you what do you see yourself doing? Uh, realistically, I'm probably gonna get into movies or web series or something because the thing that's going on with the local market and probably not even just local, probably like the whole rap industry is this thing going on where people just at each other necks. And that's cool when it's rapping, but like when you got motherfuckers pulling up to the video shoots trying to kill motherfuckers and all this shit, and then they making diss songs and all this type of shit, I'm like, bro, I ain't got time for that shit, yeah, bro. Like, disrespectful. Yeah, I done made it to 32. I'm about to be 33. Like, bro, I'm I'm done with all that nonsense. Like, yeah. I, I, do you deal with that though? Like, say if you shoot one, one person and uh, they beefing. Do oh yeah, you, nah, do, I don't, do, I don't, you I don't do it. That? Now, I done been in a situation where I have, and I was approached, but I'm like, bro, like, it's just a job. Now, on one hand, yeah, but on a, on another, it's like, you got a choice whether to do it or not. It ain't necessarily choosing sides, but if I know that you dissing him, and then he try to come shoot a video, and he dissing you, now you looking at me like, bro, what you doing? And it's like, it's too much, so I just don't even do it. Like, if I find out the songs of this song, I'm just not gonna shoot it, so. Yeah, yeah. And how, do, how do you handle guns? on video sets, man. Oh, it's a no-go. Prop guns. You know, yeah, no it's, it's prop guns or it's a no-go. Now, if I know the people, which most of the time I shoot with people that I'm comfortable with, like I was just telling, I was just telling you a minute ago, yeah. I like, um, I only really work with people that, I, that I'm comfortable with now because too many people got too much nonsense going on. So most of them, I be like, I don't care. Now, if it's, if it's one of those times where I do deals or something and then all these random dudes come and they're like, yeah, we're going to have the sticks in the video, bullets out, Make sure the gun's clear, all that type of stuff. Of course, you're going to have the knuckleheads. It's like, man, I don't give a... It's like all that extra stuff. Now, sometimes I let it slide because I know that it ain't going to be too much of a conversation. But if I could shut it down, then it's a dub. Like, I just don't even do it, so... Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that makes plenty of sense, man. I just thought about that, too. I ain't really had too many videos that, with guns in them recently. Because yeah. I be talking so much junk about it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, dog, dude. Yeah, 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 I'm like, yeah. bro, why you need guns in a video? Nobody cares. Yeah. So what's your process with coming up with uh, treatments on your videos? Once you hit, once you listen to the song, Oh, now we're getting in my bag. Yeah, what's your process of sitting down? All the ones somebody? with the money? You uh, mean the ones with the money? With the money. <laughs> <laughs> not, the, not the, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, you're talking but, about the ones with the money. Yeah, the one with that budget that's coming with you, man. All right, so the ones that come with the budget, with the, <laughs> with the goddamn, yeah, the ones yeah. that come with the budget, like, 
I usually listen to the song like a day, day and a half, really get a feel for it. Like I got one right now that I'm planning for um, Big Blanco. That's a shameless plug. Shout out to Blanco. Um, we got a video shoot that we planning right now, and I've been I've been riding, listening to it, and like the song's so emotional. Like I just I just rock with it so hard. That I'm like, bro, we gotta go to the next level with this. So we hiring actors, we getting um different locations for it, like stuff that I haven't even done before. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much the process. I listen to the song like a day, day and a half, really get a feel for. It. I gotta see it before I start writing stuff down. I can't just be like, all right, he opens the door, it's a girl there, titties out, yeah, walk in, put baby oil on her. Like it don't work like, don't that. Work like that. Yeah, yeah. I just I gotta see it. If I don't see it, is it's not gonna happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that and is... stop, stop letting your homeboys direct your videos. That, that get on my nerves. Yeah. It's always one. It's always one. It's always that. one. Bro, I think it'd be cool if like he jump off the ceiling bro <laughs> why why are you here y'all gotta stop y'all yeah. guys gotta stop that's the director homie right there man we mm -hmm. drop that term on him man yeah, yeah i hate that the director homie in check <laughs> hey my that's favorite thing to do too. my favorite thing to do with them i'm like yeah 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 all right let's run it again <laughs> I just ignore him. I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here. Now, if it's, <laughs> yeah. now, if it's a good idea, I might run with it. But most of the time, I'm like, man, who who, who man is this, man? Who is this? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's always going to be them. Yeah, it's always it's always going to be that, man. Yeah. So, what do you think about, um, well, because today it's, it's a whole different game right now with videographers, video directors, like building their own platforms and names. Like, what do you think about, because I, th I feel like directors are becoming like the new A&Rs. In oh, the movie industries. As far as like you know, they gonna be able to put artists on. I don't seen a, a few video directors put artists on, like building yeah. us up from nobody knowing who they are to building them up. So it's like, what what do you see? What do you think about that? As far as you know, the new A and R's in the in, in the game. That's actually something I consider because Cole Bennett really put that in perspective for a lot of people because we don't think like that we just think you know we shoot the video we go home edit it you know send it it's out whatever um i run across and i really owe this to celebrity dame i really run across artists sometimes randomly that got hot music but they got no direction they like man i got this song but i don't know what to do and it's like yeah we can shoot the video but also being around manny and sud and, and dame and all these people taught me how to break a record. So it's like, I kinda wanna dibble and dabble in that world eventually, and I might end up just doing that and shooting the artist videos, cause I mean, technically that's what Cole Bennett do. He find artists, sign them to whatever management or whatever he got going on and work the record. And work the record. Yeah, so I think that's I think that's something I'll get into in, in, in due time. I don't think I'm gonna do it right now, cause I wanna get a few more connects and a few more places before I do that. But yeah, that's definitely that's definitely on the horizon. It's definitely getting there. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Yeah. And now, uh, you know, before we get up out of here, matter of fact, um, you know, anybody, well, you say you're going to be selective with your, your shooting. I was about yeah. to say, if anybody want to book you, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, how they do it? I don't know why people act like it's hard <laughs> to get in contact with me. I hate when people be like, man, been trying to get up. No, you haven't. I'm <laughs> online all day. I'm, I hit my Instagram DM now. I will say this, if you hit me and be like, yo, or, or hey, what's up, or some rant, boy, I'm deleting that message instantly, because I'm like, you obviously don't want to. Now, some people don't know how to talk professionally, that's fine, but don't hit me on no yo, and you ain't saying nothing, like, I'm probably going to delete the message. Um, you can hit my DM on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, I got my booking site on Instagram, which nobody reads for some reason. Everybody hit me and be like, yo, how I book a video? And I'm like, it's right there on my page. But how, how I do it? Press the fucking button. Like, <laughs> that simple. Press the, press the fucking button. That simple. I also got my phone number on my profile. People don't text or call it. So yeah, I mean, it's numerous ways. It's all good. You know, people just don't read. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to get off your chest, man, before we leave out of here, man? Any, uh, you know, uh, game you want to drop any upcoming videographers that might be maybe just getting into the game, trying to get more bookers and trying to build their name up or anything? I do want to um, I do want to shout out other um, videographers that be doing their thing. I thought, that, oh, that is plug. So I'm about to shoot a video in like two seconds. So we actually doing this right before I shoot this Every video time. with Plug Daughter. Um, 
just a message to the young videographers out there that's on the come up. Um, I say stick to what you know. Like, don't try to jump into nothing. Don't try to jump into nothing thinking you can handle it because you won't know until you actually, like, cross that bridge. So that's what I'll say to the young videographers. Like, don't, don't get involved in too much too fast. Learn every step of the way. Work with people that you like working with. Of course, there's going to be random people popping up that, you know, going to try to come work with you. Um, hit up people that you actually got a knack for their music or listen to it on a regular. Hit them up. They might hire you to do some stuff. So, yeah, all that same stuff still works. All of us they ain't work, man. You yeah. from and stay out my man. inbox trying to learn shit. Yeah, you heard it <laughs> here, man. Media House News, man. Shoot a trail. We signing out. You heard he got a video shoot to go take care of, man. We out of here. Yes, sir. I actually like y'all page, too.